Hi, I'm Alex Paul, and I'm going to just talk you through how you can upgrade the timings on one of the scoring machines that we've made that has the removable chip that controls uh, the apparatus. So uh, these machines in this style were made from 1971 all the way through to 2015, and they have a chip in them, the more modern ones, which can be replaced. So there's a list on our website and you can download this PDF from our website that tells you which ones have the chip and can be um, updated just by a user swap of the chip. And they are ones with the serial numbers that have the prefix FE, DE, DC, FL and C63. So if your serial number is different to that, then it means it's older than I think 14 years old and we no longer support them, unfortunately. So you can find your serial number here on the back where it's permanently etched into it, and uh, you check that first to make sure that you're able to upgrade by just simply swapping the chip out. As well as these older design machines, Leon Paul also sells the newer Pebble machine and also SG scoring machines, which are the squarer ones with the lights on the face of them, and those don't have a replaceable chip. They have to be returned to us or um, Ted Lee in America is also able to do them. The contact details for him are available through our agent in the USA, and those machines have to come back and they get reprogrammed and are sent back to you with the new timings on them. So to open up your scoring machine, take a flat bladed screwdriver, and you've got four screws on the top here. And then you've got your board which is held down with another set of screws. Well, the switches come off so you just have to balance them back on when you put it back together. And then on your board you'll see you've got a main processor and this is 3 foil, uh, 2008 was the last update, uh, but it might say a range of things. This one says 2 foil 3C. Uh, the latest ones say CSAB 06 2016 and so those are the latest timing updates. So, um, strictly speaking, from an electronics point of view, you should be wearing an anti-static wristband when doing this um, because static can charge, uh, can cause problems with these chips. But the reality is I've done hundreds and never had a problem. Just don't rub your feet all up and down carpet before you do it to build up a static charge in yourself or anything like that. If you just uh, treat them normally, then I've never found any problem, at least with these chips. Um, so, you take your new chip and uh, the way they come, the, the pins are slightly further bent out than probably that you'll find the, the, um, the slot that you're putting the new chip into. Um, so you can check that just by levering the chip up. And so you put the, a, screw, a flat bladed screwdriver under the edge of the chip and you just lift it up from one side until you've got the old chip out. And just be careful as you lift it out that you come up rather than bending it out that way or that way, um, just come straight up. So when you line your new chip up, you've got to be very gentle, make sure that you don't bend any of these legs because they're quite hard to reline up once you put them in. So you need to make sure that you're in line with the holes and you'll see, well you, you, you probably can't see, but they're slightly bent too far out. So to get them in the right place, you just need to take the chip and bend it gently to bring the legs in a little bit and you know the orientation of the chip because there's a little semicircle cut out here at one end and there's a semicircle cut out at the other end which uh, you line up and the two then go uh, directly into each other and that tells you you've got your correct direction. There we go. So you check the holes are all lined up and every pin is stuck in a hole and then you simply press it down. When you press it down, don't press against a, a, the board rested up on these pins because you might damage it. So you support the board from behind and just press it home. Uh, and that's it. Then you reassemble your box, turn it on and check that it's working, which it should be, and you'll be updated to the new Sabre timings. This will come with a sticker, which you can then attach to the back of your box to say 2016, and you're all ready to go.